hello guys welcome back today we will be seeing how can we embed this dashboard into our application so for now i am taking angular and for next video i will be using react uh, just like other uh, videos we have this readme file where all the configuration and everything is ready so let me just start quickly okay here is the link for the documentation like how can we uh, have like public user and all so that is here now in order to embed we have to go to superset config file which is the one where we usually start with so let me just quickly clear this and go to cd app superset and nano superset config py so in this application in this file you will see all the configuration that we did earlier let me quickly go down to the end and i am going to add embedding into application now we will go through one by one we are going to enable feature flag okay i have caught something this should not be like this i'll i'll update it once uh, this recording is over so let me quickly paste it in the feature flag we are saying that we can embed the superset just before we start i just wanted to show you that here you can see there is nothing called as embedded once we add that feature flag it will be visible so i'll not go one by one i'll just put everything because that superset will take a lot of time to restart so i'll just quickly tell what his part is so you can see here uh, again same thing enable scores equal to true so this is something that is cross origin where uh, so we are calling superset is having some different domain and we are calling superset from different domain so the origin is different that's why we have to manually enable it for example here we are telling that anything that is coming from localhost colon 4200 should be allowed and what what are the allowed things so supported credentials true allowed headers and so on so it will allow everything from this origin for this is for angular because usually it hosts on 4200 if you have react then you will have 3000 or if you want to wide open then you can just put star so i'm going to put star in front of that uh, once uh, we work on react okay again same thing i'm just going on top and putting enable course enable course true then course options in course option we are going to have the super support credential rule and all and at the end we are going to do one more thing so this is not oops, sorry this is not required when we have something like uh, when the when the application is very much like on localhost but sometime you might see the issue so that what we are going to do we are going to define all these things actually i was facing a different issue uh, when I was trying to embed and that's why I figured out okay this should be the thing that we have to do is so guess JWT token we have to put some string here then algorithm then header and expires in the seconds other three things I'm not sure how much they are exactly like uh, help in fixing that issue but definitely this guest token so when the request is on local and your superset is on local it will quickly move between so probably that's why i was not facing that issue but when we migrated to the server then it started showing the issue and then when we added this thing it started uh, loading so probably that might be the reason so anyway i'm just going to put everything over here again same thing guest role i guess when i copied something went wrong so again we are going to use guest role name like gamma guest token i'll quickly sort it and join back okay so i just saved it and uh, control c control x okay now we can just restart our superset service so sudo 
system CTL super, super set okay now let's move to our dashboard now i'm not going to touch or reload this page i'm going to go to new page because i know that database issue so i will go to a new page and uh, wait till it loads again it is going to take some time no module name flask course so it is saying that there is no module called as flask course so okay let's quickly google it okay so i think the issue is something else so we can just super set course we can quickly go for course and okay i'm going to anyway the, even if this page is not working i'm going to copy this part because i know it works and i'm going to put it in the github right away and uh, run it in the environment make sure again i'm saying that you are in environment i'm going to paste it and i missed pip so now we are installing pip uh, superset course hopefully now it will run let's wait for a few moments it should network error because we killed it but uh, now you can see here embed dashboard is now available here now as the feature flag is enabled you can now embed the dashboard let me refresh it quickly before the service comes online hmm. so now you can see it is available here it is saying configure this dashboard to embed into external web application for further instruction consult this documentation i'll put documentation link here so what it is asking is in which website the domain of that website it needs where this will be embedded because then that course uh, logic will again apply so i'm going to write http colon slash slash and i'm putting local host colon 4200 and uh, you can have multiple for example if i want to so one angular one react i can just put one four two double zero and three thousand and so on and enable embedding now it shared this id this is very much important i'm going to put it somewhere for example let me quickly go to vs code and uh, where i can put superset embed okay so i'm going to put it here already you can i'll explain what this is before that and i will close it so this part is common for both angular as well as react in next part we will be seeing how we are exactly going to embed it into angular so probably i will split this into two videos because not everyone will go for angular